everyone. I am Meta Parlikar. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and one of the co-founders of Casper Labs. And today I'm going to be talking about how enterprises are using blockchain and some of the trends we're seeing and some of the really amazing work that has been done in collaboration with Hyperledger Foundation between Hyperledger and Casper um, and the Casper Protocol. <laughs> How do I, how do I do this? Here, hold on a second. Uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties down here. Uh, press, press on. It should be on. There we go. Go. There we go. Down. Down. All right. So let's start by debunking a popular myth in the enterprise. And that is crypto and blockchain are not the same thing. In fact, they're very far from it. Um, but you'll be surprised to hear that 54% of global executives actually believe that blockchain and crypto are in fact the same thing and that they're interchangeable terms. So this is something that we are seeing a lot when we talk to enterprises about public blockchain infrastructure. And businesses are loath to adopt cryptocurrency. Um, the crypto industry has managed to give ourselves a really bad name uh, with the recent collapses of Terra Luna and of course what happened with FTX. However, they do see massive potential in the blockchain technology themselves and 87% of these executives plan to invest in blockchain technology just in 2023 alone. And it's really important to note that blockchain is transforming businesses, not crypto, right? And when we talk about the world of blockchain, we're talking about copyright systems, digital certification, securing networks, tokenization is a huge theme, um, authentication, infrastructure tools, partners and enterprise integrations, right? And we see that Hyperledger is definitely a leader in that and Casper and Casper Labs definitely wants to play in this space as well, right side by side. And when you talk about the adoption curve for blockchain technology, we see it doing something very similar to what we observe with the internet and similarly with cloud technology and of course with mobile, right? You saw the hype cycle, the trough of disillusionment, and then you see now the builders that are gonna build, right? And it may not be sexy, but it's a long and arduous grind um, of companies that continue to find use cases and real world utility in the new technology so that consumers can benefit from all this work and all this wonderful tech. So let's talk about how organizations are using blockchain, right? In finance, we're seeing great traction around tokenization, clearance and settlements. And KYC is a real obvious use case, right? Where you can get a very simple KYC token once you've cleared KYC. We're also seeing in finance the tokenization of assets through smart financial contracts. Um, we have a joint venture with Nucleus Finance where the language of finance is distilled down to algorithms, right? If you think of a mortgage product, it really is an algorithm in the final analysis. And you can translate this into code, put it on the blockchain, and then not only can you show your assets on chain, but you can also show your liabilities on chain. And so what you get is a real-time balance sheet backed by the power of blockchain. And this is something that is extremely interesting to financial institutions because with the recent collapses in banking, you know, if they had this kind of visibility into the internal state transitions of their financial contracts, they would have been better able to predict what was happening at the teller, right, at, at the wire transfer, and they would be able to predict better what was going on. When you talk about identity management, you're talk you hear a lot about self-sovereign identification. World ID is doing something extremely interesting there um, with the orbs in Europe. Um, single sign-on, obviously that's very, very interesting for the enterprise and then fraud mitigation, right? You can limit this personal identifiable information and the theft of that. And then supply chain, real-time track and trace. There's a lot of great use cases, majority of which are built in Hyperledger and by IBM. Um, they have a very strong trace and track uh, practice. Um, we're also f you know, diving into that with IoT integrations and into cold chain um, track and trace. 
You're seeing that in agriculture, you're seeing it in the medical field, uh, medical devices, blood, transport, and you're also seeing it in high-end retail goods as well. They're very curious about fraud detection, copyright prevention, um, and really, you know, supply chain management. So we're trying to pave the path for the use of a public layer one blockchain that is purpose built for enterprise. And so what Casper does differently from all the other L1s you'll find out there is it gives contract authors and enterprises the flexibility and power to control their contracts on chain. And so when you look at the public layer one landscape, you'll find that there's a very hard stance with respects to immutability. And it's very clear with the adoption of private blockchains such as Hyperledger being the leader there, that enterprises need privacy and they need control, right? And we're a strong believer in public blockchain infrastructure, but you can also deploy Casper Network in a private or permissioned model as well and take advantage of the powerful smart contracting capabilities of that network. But you can also deploy on the public network if you need to secure very high value assets and you want the benefits of that trustless, high security environment to secure those assets. And Casper Labs is a dedicated team of professionals that builds blockchains, and we work with enterprises to be that Sherpa to guide them up the mountain in their blockchain journey. And Casper is the public network with fully upgradable smart contracts and a future-proof architecture that we continue to improve from feedback from enterprises. And this is a big differentiator between us and all the EVM related chains. There is no innovation happening on the Ethereum virtual machine. There is no way an enterprise can affect or impact the roadmap for Ethereum. And when we talk to enterprises, it's extremely important to them that they be able to have input into the roadmaps for these public protocols. And the Casper community is completely aligned in this belief that through listening to enterprise, we will build a better blockchain for enterprise. So what really is working for enterprise is hybrid. They want to keep some of their data private and use Hyperledger in a private instance, but then they also recognize that there's real benefit in dipping their toe into public networks and taking benefit from the advanced security that public networks can provide to offer solutions such as liquidity, interact with high value assets on public networks, or even take advantage of those amazing communities that these public networks bring to bear. And we're finding that 86% of executives would be more interested in deploying blockchain if they knew a hybrid solution was available. And so this is one of the reasons where we're so excited to be partners with Hyperledger and to be part of their wonderful community is because we want to bring Casper the public network as a solution and offering by integrating it into Cactus, by making it available to Hyperledger customers so when they need a hybrid network, they can get the flexibility and control that they need, but the benefits of a public network in the Casper for layer one public network. So let's talk about one of the largest, if not the largest public enterprise blockchain deployment, IPWE. IPWE was a collaboration between IBM, Hyperledger, and Casper Labs to bring about the largest public repository of intellectual property data. IPWE is going to be minting 25 million patent NFTs on the public Casper protocol and then using Hyperledger to create a patent mar marketplace where buyers and sellers can connect and negotiate terms for leasing, buying, and renting intellectual property using their Siam uh, application. We're really excited about this because it provides uh, patent owners the opportunity to monetize their patent portfolio in a much, much more seamless way and to get real price discovery and valuation for their patents. We also believe it is a phenomenal use case with real world utility of NFTs and a large enterprise deployment demonstrating the power of public blockchain. And it's also a fantastic use case of a hybrid network because IPWE is communicating across Hyperledger and the public Casper protocol. We're also integrated into Cactus to offer cross-chain token swaps. So there is an atomic swap product that is available 
whereby those persons, those companies that have tokenized assets on Hyperledger can get liquidity by swapping those tokens. You basically burn them on the Hyperledger side and you mint the bond